Teachers often ask the question of why we need to look at a range of reading strategies in order to comprehend a text. It's an important question and in order to answer it we need to think about what readers need to do in order to engage in comprehension. Now in order to comprehend a text readers need to build an interpretation or a model of it in their brains. There are several types of meaning in a text. First of all, there is the meaning in each sentence. A lot of research shows that readers process a text by comprehending it sentence by sentence. A second type of meaning is the topic of the text. When readers first begin to read a text, they guess at what its topic is about. And then as they read it, they gradually add to that emerging understanding of the topic. A third type of meaning, of course, is the meaning of each word or phrase in the text. A fourth type of meaning is the meaning of each group of sentences, each paragraph or section. And a fifth type of meaning is the meaning of the genre. And this reflects the purpose or the intention of the writer in writing the text initially. In order to form an appropriate or adequate interpretation of a text, readers need to represent all of those levels of meaning in the interpretation that they're forming. Now, in order to do that, each type of meaning requires particular reading strategies. To comprehend a text at the sentence level, readers need to uh, paraphrase, uh, visualise what sentences say, and perhaps infer from them. In order to comprehend the meaning of a paragraph or the discourse meaning, readers need to know how to summarise, again to visualise what the main idea of the, of the paragraph is, and also to identify the questions that they can answer now having read and comprehended the paragraph. To comprehend each word meaning, readers need to speculate about what unfamiliar words might mean in the text and also what familiar words and phrases mean in that particular context. They also need to use strategies for inferring and using the genre of the text. If they're reading about a narrative, what will they expect in terms of the ideas that are going to be presented. Uh, how real will they be? And how might they be expected to actually use the ideas? So for each level of comprehension, for each level of meaning in a text, there is a set of comprehending strategies that readers can learn to use in order to build um, the most effective interpretation of it that they can then use for various comprehension purposes, for uh, retelling the text, for answering questions about it, for drawing it, for acting it out, and so on. Now, in terms of teaching those strategies, initially, we need to teach them explicitly. These are oral language strategies that uh, grow out of the children's knowledge of oral language altogether. Then, as the students learn to use the strategies, uh, more and more under our direction, they can learn to tell themselves about the strategies, to say what each strategy is doing. And then they gradually learn to use them independently. And of course, this is the goal. This is what we're aiming towards, that each student will be able to use the widest range of strategies that they can in order to comprehend a text independently and spontaneously.